I've been seeing a lot of comments asking me how will the Biden administration boost Social Security and other federal program benefits. Now I'll be answering all of your questions on stimulus and Social Security in this video. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family because I'm sure they would like the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check news. And if you believe that Joe Biden must pass a fourth stimulus bill, then let's get this video to 1,000 likes. Now, according to Yahoo Finance, the average monthly Social Security payment for retirees was around $1,500 in March 2021. But many retirees receive over $3,000 per month from the Social Security Administration, and payments could be as much as $4,000 in 2021. Now, the maximum Social Security benefit in 2021 depends on the age you begin to collect payments. And so that's around $2,300 at age 62 and $3,200 at age 66. But folks, qualifying for payments worth $3,000 or more requires some more serious career planning throughout your life. So guys, here's what you need to do to qualify for the maximum possible Social Security payment. Yahoo Finance says you need to maintain a high income throughout your career to qualify for large Social Security payments in retirement. In recent years, you need to earn a six-figure salary to get a top Social Security payment. The maximum wage taxable by Social Security is $142,000 in 2021. However, the exact amount changes each year and has increased over time. Back in 2020, it was $137,000 and it was 106 grand in 2010. Workers pay 6.2% of their earnings into the social security system and employers match this amount until their salary exceeds the taxable maximum amount of income for that year. So if you earn more than a taxable amount in a single year, you will not have to pay taxes or social security taxes on that income but the income also won't be used to calculate your social security payments. People who earn more than $400,000 will be subject to the 3.8% Medicare tax. That's if President Joe Biden's new tax proposal goes through. Biden's campaign called for applying social security tax to, called for applying social security payroll taxes to those making $400,000 and up. This year, wages up to $142,000 are subject to that tax. Biden has also called for increased levies to help pay for proposed benefit increases, including raising the minimum Social Security benefit to at least 125% of the federal poverty level. And this side benefits are also a lifeline for around 8 million elderly Americans, as well as people with disabilities. Recently, lawmakers or a group of lawmakers wrote a letter to Congress, and they said that strengthening the SI program should be among those top priorities. Now folks, that was the Social Security benefit news. Here's the latest news surrounding a stimulus check. This is awesome news, everybody, for the millions of Americans that do not have consistent access to clean drinking water. Republican Senator Shelley Moore told NBC, passing this bill in a bipartisan way, like we did today, shows the American people that their elected officials in Congress can work collaboratively together on infrastructure. So yeah, guys, the passing of this bill does mean that Democrats and Republicans could work together and pass a fourth stimulus bill with a fourth stimulus check and a $200 increase in your Social Security benefits. But everybody, there's still a lot of work that must be done. This past Sunday, several Republican lawmakers made it clear that they were not satisfied with President Biden's proposed $2.3 trillion infrastructure bill, as members of the Biden administration advocated for the measure as a necessary investment. Multiple GOP lawmakers remained skeptical of the infrastructure's bill provisions. Now guys, Republican Senator Bill Cassidy criticized the proposed bill as being spread too widely across the country to be effective. Bill Cassidy is a GOP lawmaker, currently leading efforts to reach a compromise with Democrats. The senator said, if you want to fix roads and bridges, come where Republicans already are. If you're talking about spending hundreds of billions of dollars on public sector unions, we're far apart. According to CNBC, government officials said that this is an important move for the entire country, and the billions of investments are worth it. Biden said he would pay for this by increasing tax on wealthy Americans. But do you guys think that this is a good idea? Let me know in the comments below. According to the White House, the tax increase is contained in the two economic recovery packages, would fully pay for the investments over the next 15 years. But Biden has promised throughout his campaign that he would limit any tax hikes to people with incomes above $400,000. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said, the president remains committed to his pledge from the campaign that nobody making under $400,000 a year will have their taxes increased. Jen Psaki also clarified that the $400,000 threshold applies to families, not individuals. So guys, individuals who make $200,000 and up could be affected if they are married to someone who earns the same amount. Psaki said that Biden's tax plan will focus on ensuring that corporations and wealthy individuals pay their fair share of taxes. Now guys, 
New taxes on the wealthy could help pay for infrastructure and other priorities. But whether Biden can stick to that $400,000 campaign promise remains to be seen. President Joe Biden definitely needs to keep his promise that he will not raise taxes to anyone making less than $400,000 a year. Now guys, Biden's proposal would raise an estimated $740 billion in additional Social Security revenue over 10 years. The Urban Institute estimates that if enacted by Congress, the plan would be enough to extend solvency by about 5 years. And the bottom line is, even if Biden gets his wish to make Americans with especially high wages pay Social Security taxes at the same rate as low earners, it still would not be enough to fix a shortfall of Social Security. Now, Biden has not discussed any sweeping change to Social Security, but his campaign platform includes the following proposals that can modestly increase benefits for some recipients. And this is using the Consumer Price Index for the elderly to calculate Social Security cost of living adjustments, or COLAs, to better reflect the rising expenses that seniors face. A minimum benefit of 125% of the federal poverty level for people who work 30 years. Gradually increasing benefits by 5% for those who have received Social Security for 20 years or more, and allowing surviving spouses to keep a greater share of benefits. Everybody just know this. Social Security isn't going anywhere. In the event that nothing changes, Social Security can still fund 76% of its obligations from the money that it generates through payroll taxes. Even if you expect to receive 100% of your promised Social Security benefit, it's essential to remember that living solely on these monthly checks is incredibly difficult. COLAs haven't kept up with actual cost of living for most seniors. So it'll only get much harder for you guys. Saving as much as you can in a retirement account while you're still working is vital if you want to be comfortable in your golden years. And several Democratic lawmakers have already shown their support towards giving Social Security beneficiaries an extra $200 per month. Chuck Schumer, Elizabeth Warren, and Ron Wyden all agree that Social Security benefits must be increased by $200. And the best part is that the extra income would apply to all Social Security, Veterans, SSI, or SDI beneficiaries. Good afternoon. Today, two months until July 4th, I'm here to report that we're, uh, we're in our vaccination program, where we are and what comes next in an effort to uh, get this country back closer to normal. And first, where are we? Well. As everyone knows, I promised that we'd administer 100 million shots in my first 100 days. After we met that goal, we doubled it to a historic 200 million shots. By the time we reached the 100 days last week, we had shattered that mark with over 220 million shots in arms. And as we stand here today, almost 150 million Americans. Thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe.